welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be lots of ideas about how to keep your little one entertained and stop them from getting bored at home. Obviously we are all spending a lot of time at home at the moment with the coronavirus so I thought I'd share some really easy ideas about how to keep little ones as entertained as possible. So my idea number one is what I call a sticky picture. So all you need to do this is some contact paper. So this is just transparent contact paper that I got on WH Smith or you can get it easily online. And then I've just got a selection of collage -y bits that he can just use to decorate his picture. You could use absolutely anything you've got in the house, anything you can find. So I've just spread all sorts of little things on this little palette here. And I've also torn up some little bits of tissue paper because they look really good on the contact paper because they're sort of semi-transparent as well. It looks a bit like a stained glass window. So all you have to do is roll out a piece of the contact paper and stick each side of it down so that it doesn't move. Once you've stuck it down, peel off the backing so that the sticky part of it is exposed and then it's just like a sticky surface for him to just go to town on. Leo absolutely loves doing this. He calls it a sticky picture. That was his idea. He came up with that and he's been asking to do another one ever since we tried this out. And the best thing is, is if you cover the other side with another piece of contact paper, then you can keep it forever as sort of a window picture. So we actually hung ours up in the playroom. It's still there now. He loves to go and look at it and you can keep it forever. Okay, my idea number two is to make a little bath for them to wash their toys. All you need is a bowl, some warm water, and a bit of fairy liquid, and a big towel. <laughs> so here's my bowl with some bubbles, and I'm just gonna put it on the floor with a big towel so it doesn't matter if it splashes, it doesn't matter if he gets wet, it's only water at the end of the day, and it's nice and clean, and he, as you can see, knows exactly what to do. He loves doing this. He says he gives his toys a bath, he gives them a wash in the bubbles, and he just has so much fun. It keeps him entertained for about half an hour minimum. This is one of his favorite sort of board games to do. He also loves to get his little kitchen utensils and pretend that he's cooking. This time he said he was making pancakes and he just was so happy doing this for such a long time. Okay, my next idea is to make your own salt dough and I'm gonna show you the easiest salt dough recipe there is. All you need is table salt and flour and that is it, and a bowl. So basically, you do a whole cup of flour and then half a cup of salt and that is it. That's literally all you need. It's so, so simple. I learned this recipe when I was teaching and I've been using it ever since. Then all you have to do is add warm water just to your liking. So whatever consistency you're trying to get, just keep adding the water. If it gets too sticky, then just add a little bit more flour. I always end up having to do this just to get it perfectly right. And just keep mixing until you're happy with the consistency and it's not sticking to your fingers. You want it to be like a Play-Doh consistency so it probably took me less than five minutes to make this it was so so easy and Leo got so excited but the best thing about salt dough is that you can keep it so whatever little creation they decide to make we made a little superhero in the end and he made lots of little balls that he really liked making but whatever creation you decide to make you can keep it forever just by putting it on a baking tray putting it in the oven at a really low heat for a few hours until it goes hard and then you can even carry this on by painting it once it's gone hard as well. Okay. 
Okay, my next go-to board activity is puzzles. This is a new one for Leo, but it's a great one for keeping him busy for quite a long period of time. This is his favorite one at the moment, his Avengers puzzles. So he loves doing them together. He's getting really good at them as well. So he's becoming a bit more independent at doing them. It gets his brain working. You know, it's a little break from the TV. He has to think a little bit and it just keeps him really happy for a period of time. It's a really good way to just break up that long indoor day. Next idea is a recently new one that I've been doing with Leo, which is scissor skills. So all you do is draw some lines on a piece of paper, give them some scissors, and just allow them to explore and practice using the scissors to cut along the lines. Leo's been using these learner scissors, which are brilliant. I got these online. I will link them below in the description box for you because they have a spring on them. They're super easy for little ones to use. And my final idea is a classic, which we love, is water painting, mess-free painting, hallelujah. All you need to do this is a brush and a pot of water, that is it. You can get these books really easily online. I'll link my favorite ones in the description box below for you. They have some really good ones on eBay and Amazon. They're really cheap, and like I said, it keeps them busy for ages, and there's no mess. I mean, perfect. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope these ideas were helpful in this tough time of us having to stay at home. Please subscribe before you go and I will see you in my next video.